uh, mortgage market, which used to be almost non-existent in the city of Detroit for a lot of reasons, including outright discrimination and redlining back back 50 years ago, uh, has gotten a little better in the last few years. We're now making about a thousand mortgages a year in the city, uh, but there's large portions of the city that don't see any mortgage lending at all. It's 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 we. It's uh, mostly being done in a few selected neighborhoods like Palmer Woods and East Riverfront. Uh -huh. um, and uh, four out of five home sales in the city are probably still done with cash or land contracts, which is a very disadvantageous way to buy a home. Lots yeah. of problems with that. And as you, as you mentioned, that uh, white people who are probably moving into the city in bigger numbers now are, are getting uh, almost half the mortgages that are being made. So even though the needle has moved, somewhat in the right direction. We have a long way to go still. Yeah. So, I mean, I think when people see headlines like this or read stories like this, the first question is, is this principally about race? Uh, is race the thing that is holding people back from being able to get uh, financing? Well, race and poverty underlie the issue totally. Right. There's no question about that. Uh, I think the, the main mainline issues tend to be there's low appraisals in the city because home values have been low for so long. Uh, and they don't support mortgages, bad credit on the part of a lot of Detroit residents. But I think really anything that makes it harder to live in the city, including high cost of car insurance, mm -hmm. um, lack of educational credentials, uh, high cost of child care, uh, anything that makes it harder to live makes it harder to qualify for a mortgage. Yeah.